Weather bulletin. What? Comparing a fluke snowstorm in Norfolk, Virginia to Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. Who are these people? Who sends this stuff to me? Don't they know I'm a Democrat? The Old Dominion State of Virginia just recovered from a historic event, a weather event of biblical proportions. Historic? <laughs> Hysteric. A blizzard of up to 44 inches of snow and winds to 90 miles per hour that broke trees in half, knocked down utility poles, stranded hundreds of motorists in lethal snowbanks, closed all roads. All roads? Really? How does anyone know that? Scores of communities were isolated. Power cut to tens of thousands. Ah, uh, here comes the punchline to the weather bulletin. For your information, FEMA did nothing. No one howled for the government. No one even uttered an expletive on TV. Jesse Jackson, Sean Penn, Barbara Streisand, and Geraldo didn't visit. <laughs> Our mayor didn't blame anyone. We melted snow for water. Families took in stranded strangers. We broke out coal oil lanterns, fired up wood stoves. We didn't wait for the government to get us out of our own mess. Expletives my ass. OK, OK. Let's have a little eat shit eye chat, sister, brother, whoever you are. Who are you? How can you possibly compare your diddly snowstorm to a hurricane that covered 80% of New Orleans in water? Signed, BTNT. Ah, a little eye chat exchange. Huh, I'm up for a joust. Lighten up, BTNT. What does that stand for, anyway? Born temperamental and touchy? <laughs> Blue, through and through. For goodness sake. You forwarded me a diatribe, and to everyone that got the weather bulletin. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Now half my book club, three members of the junior of the junior league, and my fellow co-chairman of the Virginia Federation of Republican Women think I'm conspiring with with what? A liberal? A progressive? A socialist. <laughs> Signed P T B T O P. P T B Top? What the hell does that mean? I thought she was red. P-T-B-T-O-P, -P, proud to be the one percent. <laughs> Since when did socialism become a dirty word? Aren't your hardworking aunts socialist? Communal. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. Are you still with me? I smoke cigarettes. Would I even be allowed to smoke? If everyone were footing the bill for my health care and not just me, you smoke? I didn't know junior leaguers smoke. <sighs> Gracious, why not? Thought you were all too pure to indulge in a vice like smoking. I mean, smoking has become so <coughs> prohibited. Exotic. <laughs> Are you calling me an exotic? <laughs> Who are you? I meant it as a compliment. How did you get my email? You must be on my political list, sir. Join the Reds or be obliterated by the Feds. I don't think so. Hey, you remember when Reds meant communists and Blue was the title of the latest Joni Mitchell album. <laughs> I remember the good old days of the Cold War. You do? <laughs> Before red states and blue states? Before I chat? Before forwards? Oh, I don't do forwards. Mm. Well, unless I think something's really good. You just sent me a forward. The weather bulletin? I didn't send it you, to you specifically. I sent it to one of my groups. For goddess sake, I don't belong to any conservative groups. Goddess sake, lordy lord, I'm consorting with a witch. <laughs> At least I know I'm talking to a woman. <laughs> oh, I think I'm talking to another woman. Hey, are you there? I'm checking my sent files. I forwarded to some friends and, oh yes, my family group. Family group? 
what the hell is she I doing in my family group? <laughs> Do you know Danielle? She just sent me a slew of email addresses. Danielle? I know a Danielle. She's my sister-in-law. Danielle is my sister. Who is your Danielle? Is your Danielle married to Jonathan, whose job just transferred him to Norfolk? Jonathan is my brother-in-law. He's married to my Danielle. How do you know about Jonathan's job? Jonathan is my brother. Shit, good lord. <laughs> my Danielle is married to your Jonathan. I am chatting with the hippie sister-in-law that lives on the left coast. She's that relative in Norfolk who thinks she's June Cleaver reincarnated. I've, I've heard, heard about, about you. you. <laughs> so, you're red and I'm blue. We're related by marriage, so I guess that makes us purple. <laughs> I don't think we have the capacity to blend. I met you five years ago at the wedding. You had a nose ring. You have me confused with my cousin Blanche. You and me, we have more in common than you think. Are you on the shady side of 55 too? <laughs> <laughs> that I am. And a smoker. <coughs> now it's your turn. My turn for what? A sharing of a dirty little secret. I'm related to you. <laughs> By marriage, and that's a mutual secret. You have to come up with one of your very own. I just joined Planned Parenthood. <laughs> Are you working as a double agent? <laughs> debt of gratitude. Are you there? Can I trust you to keep a secret? A real secret? Oh, this is so strange, like sharing your deepest wishes with a stranger on a bus. When have you ever been on a bus? <laughs> I took a long bus ride once, out of state, out of Norfolk. I was 17. Were you running away from home? New York. I was going to New York. Abortions were legal in the state of New York. Blue, are you there? Are you shocked? They were also legal in the state of Washington. You too? I took a bus from Sacramento. I was 16. I was terrified my parents would find out. I was afraid of going to hell. So you went back to Norfolk? <laughs> By way of Bible camp. I was a little late. Danielle covered for me. Danielle seems cool. Yes. Well, she's become, become, I can't say it. It's the B word. What, bitch? Bisexual? Bipartisan. <laughs> There'll be a lot to talk about this spring at the family reunion. Are you sure you don't have a nose ring? Just a small tattoo. I got the invitation to your family's reunion. My brother said you, your family was opening it up to... Outside agitators? <laughs> In-laws. I wasn't going to go. Too expensive. I wasn't going to go. Too boring. Usually, you and me, we could jazz it up. The purple people greeters. <laughs> <laughs> you could stay with me. Are you sure you'd be comfortable with that? We could build you a temporary yurt in our backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to you, a yurt. <laughs> Don't underestimate me. I'm learning. Thanks for the eye chat. You're signing off? 
I need to get ready for my Bikram yoga class. Isn't that the yoga you do naked in a steam bath? <laughs> you know I can't let you have the last word. How about we just sign off simultaneously? TBC. To be continued. Thank you for being here.